Welcome to Modern Church Leader, a short daily show to help you grow your church, be more effective and efficient and powerful for the kingdom of God. Hey, Dean Sweetman here again, talking about uh, different scriptures and how to preach and teach those verses when it comes to uh, teaching generosity in church. And so this is a great series that I'm doing on lifting some scriptures, really getting some behind the scenes on themes, topics, things that we would talk about around the offering moment uh, and about generosity and giving in general. i got a great uh, verse here out of Matthew 6, uh, and it's such a classic whole passage of Scripture, Matthew 5, 6, and 7. You've got Beatitude, you've got just teaching gold, right? In the middle of all this, in uh, Matthew 6, 1, Jesus starts talking about things and possessions, and he says, be careful uh, not to practice your righteousness in front of, in front of others to be seen by them. If you do, you will have no reward from your Father in heaven. That is really interesting. Like what, what Jesus is saying is that when you give, God sees it and that there is some potential reward that comes back to you. And we can talk about that in a moment. That's really interesting. So when you give to the needy, do not announce it with trumpets as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and on the streets to be honored by others. So obviously, Religious people, and you got to remember in Jesus' day, religious people wore things to look righteous. They wanted to look holy, and so they dressed and all kinds of stuff. And evidently, when they gave, they would make sure everybody noticed. And of course, Jesus, Jesus is always doing and teaching, you know, something contrary to the religious tradition of the day. So he's like, don't do that. I tell you the truth, they have received their reward in full. So the arrogance and the reward they were looking for was to be noticed by other people and how rich they are and how generous they are. But he says here in, in verse three, but when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing so that your giving may be in secret. Then your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. So this is a phenomenal few verses when it comes to the attitude around generosity. And of course, I think, you know, there's not a, a teaching moment that goes by when we are talking about generosity that we don't talk about where the ge generosity comes from. And giving has to start out of a revelation of the believer. It starts in the heart of every single Christian. It's not a natural thing to give your money away to the church. So once you, you know, discover Christ and you start coming to church and you start to clean up your life and the, the, you know, the discipleship process of following Christ and listening to sermons, it starts to change behavior. That's what's supposed to happen. Once you meet Jesus, like you should be able to tell in, in a short amount of time that something happened to you. It wasn't just some inward spiritual thing. It actually started changing behaviors that you had in your life that were ungodly. And now you start behaving godly. No one's going to be perfect. That's why there's grace. We're not talking about that. One of the things that changes as a result of discovering Christ is you become a generous person. And, and the, the motivation for how and why you're going to be generous before you might, you might have been like these religious guys who wanted to be known for their generosity. I've met a lot of wealthy people over the years, and it's astounding to me how many of them don't want to be known for what they give. They're happy to do it in secret. I had people coming up to me giving, you know, offerings to, to the church and, and like say, Pastor, we just want to keep this on the down low, large amounts. Um, that's the godly way to do it. So it's a fantastic opportunity when you're teaching around giving is to talk about the attitude and the how-to and Matthew 6, 1 through 4 sets it out perfectly. So Always, 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 when talking about money and generosity in church, talk about the position of the heart and how this generous act is established. And that will set people free and get them in alignment. And you know what? It says there's a reward. I don't really know what that reward is. It's, it's a little, uh, you know, like it could be a lot of things. But the bottom line is when you give to God, which is that's what you're doing when you're giving in church, God gives something back to you, and that's a blessing.